60R Friday afternoon, um, formerly of Bucks Fizz, or at the Cruel Lyceum this Sunday. And joining me, we've got the legendary Jay Aston on the line. Hello, Jay. Hi, yeah. How are you doing? I'm good, yeah. We're on the road, on our way to another gig, just stopping off on Cardiff on the way to Tewkesbury, where we are tonight. So you're on the tour so bus right now? I am, yes, with all fizz in hand. <laughs> It's great stuff. This tour, you're about halfway through it now, aren't you? Yeah, we're actually more than that. We're about two thirds of the way through the tour now. Oh, that's my so maths. We started in September, and we've been it's been fantastic. It's gone really, really well. Yeah, oh, I bet there's been so many um, loyal fans coming, and you've I bet you've gained loads of new fans as well. You know, the younger generation listening to your music. We had, amazingly so. We had a, a young girl, she was only 14 last night, and she's just decided she liked us all of her own accord. But we've, what we've been doing is asking the audience, you know, who's seen us recently, who's seen us back in the day, and surprisingly, about 40% of the audience generally have never seen us before. So, um, so the fizziness is expanding, so we're delighted about that. Of course, uh, making your mind up was... 35 years ago when that was at number one one of three number ones that you had you had so many great hits um my camera never lies if you can't stand the heat piece of the action new beginning what's your favorite uh, to perform or what's your favorite song um i've kind of got two land of make believe because it really happened for us and it's just such a great song and the lyrical aspect of it you know gave it a great visual kind of aspect um, it's great to perform, and um, and now those days are gone just because it's timeless, because it's quite classical, and I, I like pop, but I also like the classical element of that. So, yeah, we're very proud of both of those songs. Stars in your eyes, little one. Yeah, that's my favourite, The Land of Make Believe. Just a beautiful video. I remember it like it was yesterday. Yes. We're working on something for Christmas along those lines, but I can't tell you too much. But uh, we'll announce it on our Facebook page, which is formerly of um, Bid. Yeah. Coming out soon. You've got a Twitter account as well, so people can find out a little bit more. Um, I saw that uh, you were uh, with Mike Stock, who's a friend of the show recently. Is that a yes. clue? Is that a clue? <laughs> <laughs> well, we've been working on an album with him. Yeah. And um, so, yeah, so um, so there will be an album coming out next year. And we're only, we've are only we only literally done about three or four songs with him. So we should, oh, once we finish the tour, we're all going to have Christmas, because obviously Bobby lives in Italy, so he's going home. Yeah, and then in the new year we'll be album. It should be released some point next year. Yeah, I've just been looking at the photographs on your Twitter, and you all look so amazing. Well, digital cameras are very favourable, aren't they? <laughs> 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 yes. But I've been looking at some of the old photographs, and for a pop band, some of the outfits, especially that you wore, were quite raunchy for the day. Well, yeah, you had. You know, I kind of, I was kind of one of the people that did all the styling really and came yeah. up with some of the visual ideas because that's I'm kind of the arty one I suppose um, and I just used to see every single as an opportunity to kind of change our image and, and it, it made sense of the song as well so each each sort of song had it's like turning a corner of a you know a new fizz and a new song so it was, it was quite easy for me to do and I, I used to love doing it yeah and there's some outfit changes on the show now isn't there yeah, well, it, it, because we've got all those images, because we're known for it, it gives you a really great platform to be able to produce a really interesting show. So we've got loads of costumes and great lighting effects and back projection. So it's not just us singing songs, you know, it, it's a show, it's a performance, and that's what I think people are really getting into. And yeah. we all have a chat, you know, with the audience, and we all do individual stuff, as well as we do a little latest medley at the end where... Everyone will know those songs. I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, well, good. Well, <laughs> well, looking forward to seeing you. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, you can say something that not many Brits can say or ever will say. You're a Eurovision winner. Uh, there's not many of those <laughs> from Britain. Yes. Well, there's only Katrina, and actually she was American. So we, we yeah. decided that that doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, no, I mean, it's very hard to win, well, I think, again, uh, because there's so many countries now. Yeah, yeah, Australia included. Yeah, I mean, now, you know, it? that was crazy. Yeah. Well, it, it was funny because Making Your Mind Up was number one for about five weeks in Australia because Australians have always avidly watched Eurovision. So, um, yeah, that was, you know, who knows, it would become world popular song contest at some point. <laughs> and you know, including um, Bobby McVeigh, who was also a Eurovision uh, contestant with yes. Sweet Dreams. Yeah, um, well, we're, we're just going via Cardiff, um, but yes, 
um, Bobby used to be a DJ at Red Dragon, so and obviously he had his um, Eurovision pedigree and was uh, basically all had the same management, so we knew Bobby from back in the day. Ah, interesting. Well, like I said, I look forward to seeing the show uh, on Sunday in Crewe and have a great Christmas and we look forward to this surprise just before. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sure you'll hear about it. But um, yes, thank you and we're looking forward to it. And we're also looking forward to having a great Christmas. So in advance, happy Christmas, everybody. Get your jingle bells out. <laughs> thank you very much, Jay. Okay, bye.